Hey folks, it's Roland again from Delmi Training Institute and in this video, I'm just going to walk you through the steps to mount a camera on one of these popcorn ceilings. In earlier videos, I did the installation whereby the ceiling tile was in place and I mounted a camera to it. Then what do you have to do if you have the camera in a very tight spot that you cannot actually fit a ladder in there and do the work? This process is going to show you how to take the tile down, do the installation on it, and put the tile and the camera back. So in this particular install, my ca camera is supposed to go into that corner, and that is right up that. You see there's a desk in place, and I wouldn't be able to set my ladder in there to do any work. So ideally, it's just good enough to bring that ceiling tile down. And this installation is strictly for installs that have a ceiling tile or a popcorn ceiling tile or a drop a drop down ceiling tile in place. So I have my ladder, I already have my cables run, my cables are up in the ceiling. Excuse me. Once I pop that ceiling tile up, I should be able to see my cables in there. Now you notice that my ladder placement here is going to be very tricky. The desk is not strong enough to support my weight. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to try and position this in such a way that I'll be able to reach over. But this is going to be a tricky one. Let's see what I'm able to do with this. I might have to lean backwards to be able to, to do this. And like I said, you have your broom and your vacuum and all that ready before you do the install. So here I am. My cable is right here. Like I said, keep your fingers clean, guys. Keep your fingers clean. These tiles are super clean. You don't want to be the one to make them dirty. So if your fingers are dirty, use the back of your fingers. Go like this, lift them up, and slide them over. Don't slide them on this, it's gonna scratch. Just lift it up and move it. Now, this is my cable. I know my cable is right there. All right, so it's already been labeled. It's labeled as the camera number. Now, I wanna install it here, but just look at my position now. This is the wrong way to be on the ladder. So if you try to do this, you always need to maintain three points of contact. One, two, three. How do I hold the camera? It's not possible. So what I have to do is to try and bring this guy down. So I'm going to take this ceiling tile, if it's possible, take it out and bring it down. So that's what I'm doing right now. Right, I missed one step. That's what I want to let you know. My camera is gonna go with a ceiling tile in place like this. My camera is gonna go right here. So I'm gonna take a marker and I'm gonna mark it up. This is where my camera is gonna go right here. So I'm gonna put an X indicating where it's going to go and I'm going to indicate where the front is this is where the front is going to be I'm going to put an arrow because once you take the ceiling tile down sometimes you get disoriented so now I put an X and I put an arrow indicating where the front of the camera is going to be so now I can take this and I can slide it down right and take this down All right. So now that I have this down, I always like to work on a piece of garbage bin. In this case, I'm going to take this garbage bin and that's what I'm going to be working on. So this is the hole that I'm going to be making right here. If you have a hole saw, you're going to use your hole saw. But I found out that many years of doing this, 
this works out perfectly for me it gives me the right size that I need I'm just gonna put this right in the middle and just keep spinning it back and forth with my garbage bin underneath it so all the mess that I'm doing is falling right into the garbage bin and then once it's I start going I start widening my scissors a little bit to make the hole a little bit bigger now if you have a hole saw it's easier but which means that you have to carry multiple tools I just pushed all this in I just make it nice and smooth so this is a very nice hole not too complicated and I flip it around and make sure that all the debris that I have here is also well taken care of so that is the first part of this same camera as said previously and then and I'm just doing all this because um, I know my students have been asking a lot in the send me emails in my comments I get this a lot so I just decided to come on the field and have this done uh, by explaining it the way I teach it in class and the way I show it all around so now I'm going to take this and I'm going to open it up. It's the Hick Vision. I'm going to leave all the camera details and the description uh, in, the des in, the, in the description below. So if you want to do the same thing. But this, uh, this mounting technique varies from camera to camera. This is this specific one and what you can do. I'm going to also share other videos about how you can mount any other cameras. If there's a specific camera that you really want to know, the best and the easiest way to do that leave a comment in the comment section below and I will tell you how to do it it doesn't matter whatever the camera is we always have lots and lots of access to cameras because most of the manufacturers and most of the distributors they give us cameras that we use to for samples and so if you have any specific camera in mind just let me know I'll reach out to the distributors we can get one of those I'll use it for the video I'll explain it to you now as usual um, this camera comes well packaged with all these styrofoams it comes with the Allen key like like all the videos that I saved it comes with this and part of this is it's got three screws in in them these are fine threaded screws you don't want to lose them these are meant to mount on the mounting bracket the junction box that comes with this camera i also put the description of the specific one you need to get if you have to install this um, in an outdoor location not on this cylinder well, today we're focusing on this it also comes with this this is the key i want to keep this so close it's got three screws and it's got three wall plugs and then finally it's got this camera in that's what we're going to mount the most important thing here is underneath the last styrofoam there is this metal bracket and this is what students have been asking me i bought this camera and i found this plate in it i don't know what to do with this plate well this plate is an accessory that comes with it and it's meant to be used when you mounting cameras on like this or it acts as an adapter plate for you so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the camera out of its packaging. You notice that I don't use, I don't use power tools on any of the cameras that I work on. Rather, I'm going to take the Allen key that comes with this. And just pop it out from this plastic bag. Take that out, and I'm going to use that to open this camera so just let it sit in just let it catch on one just hold it like this and just spin it up like that it makes taking it out very easy do that on number two just let it catch the screw in there and then you're good to rock and roll what is that yeah right here spin it around 
like that. And then I'll do the last one. Usually this install shouldn't take you more than 10 minutes. And you know, the faster you can get all your installs done, the more money in your pocket. That is if you already have the cable in place. So now this is done. You open the camera like this. Remember, this arrow I told you was very important. So now that I have this, what was the what was the front supposed to be? I put an arrow there indicating the front. And don't worry, yes, the camera is going to co cover this. If you did put it far out, then the camera is not going to cover it, and then you're going to have writings all over the ceiling. But yes, the camera is going to cover this, and this is the front of it. Now, when you look at this camera, for example, they tell you on the back here that this is the front and this camera that i'm installing today comes equipped with a microphone and the microphone is located right in front here and that's why this is supposed to be the front and hence the arrow that i kept on here what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take this and i'm going to feed it through the hole that i made you see it fits perfectly just it's not too big it's not too small it just fits i'm going to fit the power also in through it like that and all my cables fit through so I'm just gonna take this let that slide in like that and remember this is the front of my camera so I'm gonna position that here like so because that's where I want it to be and yes notice that the camera covers my arrow that I did so what am I gonna do next remember this packaging that I told you that is what I'm going to use I'm going to take the three screws the Phillips screw that come with it so I'm going to grab my Phillips screwdriver this has got a Phillips head and I'm just going to take this I'm going to take this it's got three screw holes one here one here and one here I'm going to take that, just going to put it in, and I'm just going to push it down in a little bit. Remember, this uh, substrate is very soft, and you don't want to just push it all the way through. Otherwise, it's not going to hold your cameras. You want some tread to go through it. So push it in a little bit, and do the same thing for this. Just push it in a little bit like that. Now you're going to take this, and you're just going to attempt to screw it in like that whilst you're screwing just push it down a little bit and it's gonna go through it like that that is it and I'm gonna do the same thing for this one just gonna screw it in like so so it hits the bottom of it there you go and I'll do the same thing for the third one by the way, if you need to know how to program this camera and all the features of it, just um, hit me a note in the comment section and I will make a video of the benefits of this camera, what you can do with it and how you can program it properly. So now that I have done this, I'm going to move on to the next step. Oh, that was... Um, so now, this is secured to this, but do not leave it like that. The fact that it's been fastened to it doesn't mean that you should mount your camera that way. You know, if you do this, it's still going to stay, but your camera is going to fall. So do not, please, do not leave it like this. The next step here is I'm going to grab this metal plate that came with it. And this metal plate it still stays right here that that's the front of it and I'm going to slide it on it comes with two sides one side has a lip to it and this side is flat I need a flat side to come here and also bear in mind that is the front this is the front of my camera and notice it's just going to align on my screws the screws that I put in is going to just align on it like that once that is done, I'm just going to flip this on the side like this and with my screwdriver, 
I'm just gonna tighten it to go into that bracket on the back. I'm gonna do the same thing for this. You don't want to over tighten it, right? And I do for the last one. Now that's been securely fastened. You want to just go over them to make sure. Yeah, so now this has been secured to the back with these screws and also with that all right so now it's time to do my connection to the harness with the patch cable and I'll just grab my patch cable at this point um, you can it's, it's optional I highly recommend you put the retaining clips on it but again like I said if you have patch cords like this you have to be able to chop off this otherwise it's not gonna fit you're gonna plug that in like that and you're gonna connect this to the other end of your cable and uh, pretty much that is it so I'm just gonna go just for demonstration purposes I am gonna take this and I'm gonna mount it right up on the ceiling for you to see how it is done so this is my camera it's not falling off, it's firmly attached to it. So I'm going to go up the ladder and I'm going to move this one. So folks, there you have it. My camera is mounted. Take that, plug it in here like so. Leave that up on top. And the camera is mounted right up there. The next is this. Just lift it up a little bit. And that is it. So the last stage is to put the cover back on and that's it. Just a little bit of a stretch with this, uh, but again, that is the angle that you get to work, so. It's a tight spot. So got one in, I'm just gonna do the, the next one. I don't wanna step on the desk because it doesn't support my weight. If you have any, I wanna know how you guys install it. If you have a different method than this, also share it in the comment section below and that'll be fine. Okay, so I'll do the third one and that would be it. It's a long, it's a long stretch. Hold the ladder for me. With one hand. It's beautiful on it. Perfect. So I'm working with a partner here. So he's holding the ladder so I don't tip over. 
and that is also fine so now i have his weight on that side supporting me i have two points and the third one and then i'm just going to find this one and just do exactly that okay now once that is done i'm going to take the foam off this thing nice and fancy and my install is 100% complete. Finally, I'm gonna close this guy. Lift it up and put it on. Now, you might have little dust. Just wipe it all clean as if you were not here, like nothing ever happened. Okay, so guys, it's Roland again from Delmi Training Institute. If you did enjoy watching this video, make sure you give us a bit, a very big like, subscribe to our channel, share all our videos. Um, we have lots of videos on our channel. If there are specific videos that you want me to talk about, make sure you leave a note in the description, so in the comment section. And I'm also gonna leave all the, the tools that we used for this video in the description below. And guys, thank you so much for watching. It's Roland again from Delmi Training Institute and Delmi Solutions. See you on the next one.